Hi, all. Good morning. Very good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. So last session we discussed about uh, what is mule sapt, what is the use of this mule sapt, why mule is you know uh, more uh, demand in the market, and uh, how many pages are there in mule sapt, what and all the required softwares you know required to use this mule sapt, right? So how many pages are there in Mule? Three pages. Three, very good. What are they? Design. 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 Develop. Development. Deployment. Very good. Design, development, deployment. Okay. Yes. So today what we'll do, we'll start with the design, okay? Tomorrow what we'll do, whatever we design, that we are going to develop that, okay? Next day we will deploy that application to cloud. Okay. Clear. Okay. Okay. Cool. So now for design purpose, we are going to use any point platform. This is an application guys. Just type anypoint.mulesub.com login. So I'm gonna post this link in the chat box. Okay, try to copy this and paste it somewhere in your notepad or wordpad, wherever you want, you can keep it. Just now I posted in the chat box. Okay, so the moment uh, you click on this, it will take to you this place, okay? Here it is asking sign into any point platform. We don't have any account, right, at this moment? So if you don't have an account, what you will do, you can try to create an account. Okay, just click on sign up. Okay. So here, what you can do, you can mention some name. Okay. First name, last name. Just I'm giving some dummy mail. Okay. So like this, I'm giving. This is not my number, okay? Don't call to this number. Just dummy number, random number I give, okay? And company, I'll keep something, IBM, okay? Even if you are not working, fine, okay? Just provide your, you know, uh, dream company here, okay? And then try to set up username. 25th batch, I'm giving username. And I'm going to set up my own password, okay? And then click on these two check boxes. Then click on this accept and create account. See, the moment you click on this, it will create an account. Okay. Need to update the email address. Not now. Click on it because I gave some dummy, you know, mail ID. How to provide your exact, uh, you know, mail ID and as well as mobile number. I'll click on not now. Okay. So once I log in to this platform, so this is the home page, guys. Whatever you are seeing, this we can call it as home page. Okay. I think a few days back, I think they created this, you know, board builder, new one. Okay. This even uh, I didn't test this, how it is going to work. Earlier, it will start from here. So design center, exchange, and then studio. Apart from this, we will have this data graph and a management center. In this, we do have so many services. As I told you, right, in interview also, they ask you a question. So why Mule is more popular compared to all other integration tool? What is the advantage with this Mule soft? Okay. Sometimes, you know, if you go with the two years of experience, they may ask you these kind of interview questions. Okay. Uh, can you list out, you know, other integration tools apart from this mule? Okay. So many other integration tools will be there, right? That is first question. Like uh, you can answer that. Like we do have, you know, 
different different integration tools are there in the market like Tikko, Delbomi, IBM, Stellan, Snap Logic, you know. Like Peace. compared to all these integration tools, why is why Mule is more popular? Next question. So compared to all other integration tools, why Mule is more demand or more clients are using? Okay, why? Because the first reason is by using in MuleSoft, we do have more than 360 components or connectors will be there. So by using all these components or connectors, you can integrate any kind of API very easily. This is point number one. And the point number two is all services are available at one single place. Let's say if you want to run your application, once you deploy your application, for deployment purpose, we have a different service. Once you deploy this, we need to apply some kind of policies to that API. You can use this API manager. And then after you deploy your application, you want to monitor your application. So for that purpose, we are going to use this. So like this, all the services are available at one single place. So that's why, you know, Mule is more demand in the market. Whereas compared to other integration tools, like uh, in other integration tools, what will happen compared to these mules, all these services are not available at one single place. Let's say if I want to monitor my application, again, I need to buy this service. Okay, for this again, I need to pay extra money to this uh, you know company. Then only they will provide me access for this monitor, understood? Clear or not? Yes. So that's why, you know, Mule is more popular. Now, okay, whatever the options which you can see here, all these options are available here. Can you see this three horizontal line? Just click on it. You can see same services. Either you can click here or here, okay? So I'm going to explain now high level, okay? What this service will do. Again, going forward, each and every class we will discuss in depth. So first one is design center. In this design center, what we will do, we are going to create a APIs. What do you mean by API? Application program interface. Application program interface. Very good. Application programming interface. interface. What this API will do? It transfers the information, data mm -hmm. from uh, we can data system, data system data to another system. system. Data system. Data. Very good. Okay, perfect. So are you able to see my screen properly? Yes. Okay, you can see here what is an API. So API is nothing but application programming interface. So by using this API, is what we will do, we can exchange the information between two parties. Okay, that could be anything between two humans, okay, or between two softwares, we can exchange the information. Okay, so one best example here is, you know, I think uh, all of you went to a restaurant, right? So, yes. so the moment you enter into the restaurant, what is the first step you guys will do? We will take the menu card. Uh, first, what you will do, you are going to take the menu card and then we'll order. Okay, very good. So you gone through this menu, then what you will do, whatever you like, you know, based on that, that inputs you are going to provide to the waiter. Okay. What this guy will do, waiter, waiter will take all your inputs. Okay. Let's say you need one chicken biryani, one starter, one water bottle, something you order. So this we can call it as inputs. Okay, you gave input to the waiter. What waiter will do? Waiter, he will take all the inputs and he's going to pass all the inputs to the kitchen. Okay. In kitchen, who will be there? Master. Chef, Chef will be there. Yes. What this guy will do, he's going to take all your inputs Based on your inputs, is going to prepare a response. 
okay same response he will pass to the waiter what this guy will do waiter will bring the response and he is going to deliver to the customer here waiter he will access an api understood what he will do he is going to share the information between two parties right or wrong yes so this is the best example for an api okay so now next up is here we are going to construct one api okay so how we need to construct the api in the real world okay that we will discuss okay so arthamain kada so api is nothing but application programming interface id em chestad ante oka two parties madhya edana information unte exchange chestad anamata arthamainda okay so ee apis ni manam chaala places lo vartamandi ekkada ekkada vartamo ante let's say phone pay vartunnar andaru yes sir so all are using phone pay right సో ఫోన్ పే లో మనం ఏమేమి చేయొచ్చు అండి ట్రాన్సాక్షన్ ట్రాన్సాక్షన్ అంటే మీరు లెట్ సే మీరు ఈ కోర్స్ ఎన్రోల్ అయ్యారు నాకు పీ పే చేయాలి ఎలా చేస్తారు త్రూ ఫోన్ పే నుంచి చేస్తారు రైట్ అది ఒకటే చేస్తామా ఇంకా వేరే ఏమైనా చేస్తామా వెరీ గుడ్ వాట్ వీ విల్ డూ మొబైల్ రీఛార్జ్ చేస్తాం తర్వాత ఫాస్ట్ ట్యాగ్ రీఛార్జ్లు చేస్తాం డిటిహెచ్ కేబుల్ టీవీ సిలిండర్ బుక్ చేస్తాం ఎలక్ట్రిసిటీ బిల్ పే చేస్తాం వాటర్ బిల్ పే చేస్తాం పోస్ట్ పెయిడ్ రెంట్ ఇన్ని ఉన్నాయి కదా ఇవన్నీ ఎలా పాసిబుల్ అవుతున్నాయి ఒక వన్ అప్లికేషన్ లో ఇప్పుడు నేను చెప్పినవన్నీ మొబైల్ రీఛార్జ్ కానీ ఫాస్ట్ ట్యాగ్ కానీ వాటర్ కానీ ఎలక్ట్రిసిటీ బిల్ కానీ డిటిహెచ్ కానీ ఇవన్నీ ఏపీఐస్ అండి వీటిని ఏపీఐస్ అంటాం Okay, now. Excuse me, sir. Uh, yes. Please speak in English. Actually, I'm from MP. So, can't understand. And okay, okay. Sir. I'll repeat in two languages, okay? Okay, thank you, sir. Yeah. So, what I told just now, mobile recharge, fast tag, DTH, cable TV, electricity bill, you know, book a cylinder. So, these are all we can call it as APIs. Okay. so the moment you click on mobile recharge the moment you tap it internally one api will call okay and it is going to fetch that information let's say you guys are using red bus or abi bus or something right yes let me open this red bus so i want to travel from hyderabad to bangalore maybe tomorrow okay so what is their search bus right so as a user what we will understood if we click on search bus we will get the bus information right or wrong yes but actual back in what will happen so this we can call it as one button or something okay okay so the moment i click on search bus internally one api will call and that api will interact with the database and it is going to validate it based on your inputs let's say in the database imagine red bus database so many buses will be there right or wrong with the different routes different mm. different yes, yes. right or wrong yes. yes so how we are getting only particular route so let's say i want to go to hyderabad to bangalore i need buses only in this route right how will get exactly the moment you click on this search bus internally one api will call and it is going to interact with the database and it is going to validate based on our inputs and it is going to display the information to the user see we got you know buses which are you know running in the hyderabad to bangalore route understood okay if i change you know input automatically buses also will change right or wrong mm-hmm. see here what we got first thing jing bus right jing bus ksm okay if i modify this 
maybe this will be changed. Pune to Bangalore. Let me click on this. Very first result, uh, you know, it will be changed. Can you see? Yeah. First, we got orange dollars. Okay. How it is going to happen? Because of all these APIs. Okay. So how we are going to create these kind of APIs? Okay, we will create APIs, we will give it to the team, then they will design this front end guys, they will take care of this. Okay. Clear? So now first let me create one API. Okay, if you want to create API, we can use this design center. Just click on the start designing. So, API is nothing but a program that interacts with the back end and mm -hmm. provides. So, is API nothing but a program that interacts with the database and uh, uh, gives some uh, information back? Correct. Okay. 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 Now, here. Okay. Let me create one brand new api so if you want to create an api click on this plus button can you see here i do have multiple options so which option i need to select new api first one, first first one. one. very good why first one why not others so we are going to create new api ah can you see here new project from scratch all options I will explain in coming classes. First, we will go with this option. New project from scratch. So if you want to build your API from scratch, so you can select this option. So it is asking project name. Who is going to provide this project name? Client. Hmm? Client, customer. Client, will, client or customer directly, they will give project name to you? No, 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 sir. Yeah. See, the moment you join any organization, once you got new project, okay, what they will do, they will give some KT. What do you mean by KT? Knowledge, Knowledge transfer. Knowledge <laughs> transfer. Okay. In this KT, what will happen? They are going to explain about the project, what this project will do. Okay. What we need to do. How many you know, and the systems will be there. What is your source? What is your target? What kind of transformations we need to do it? Okay. Everything they will mention you in the document. Okay. The document, they will provide access to you. Okay. In the document, first, they will have some HLD, LLD. What do you mean by HLD? High level. High level document. Very good. High level, High level document low level document data mapping sheet okay then use case diagrams you know all these things they are going to keep it in the document okay the document will talk about that requirement understood based on that requirement only they created those documents understood yes. in the documents we do have project name okay so try to copy that project name. So let me create something calculator. Okay. So here, can you see, if you want to design anything, we are going to use one language that is called RAML or AML. So RAML is nothing but a restful API modeling language. Okay. So this is the latest version, RAML version 1.0. We do have another uh, version also, RAML 0 0.8. Okay. So when you are talking with the client, let's say most of our uh, clients will be from US or UK or Australia, like that, right? So in the foreign countries, what they will do, wherever they can see zero, they can pronounce it as O. So RAML version 1.0, O.8. 
See, the moment you talk like this with the client, the client will come to know you already have good experience with the client as well. Okay, you will get good impression. Okay. So when you are going for two years of experience or three years of experience, you may get this question. Hey, what is the difference between RAML version 1.1 and 0.8? Okay. So try to prepare answer for this. This is your today's task. RAML version 1.1 and 0.8. You have to prepare answer for this. I already prepared, okay, that document I can share with you later. But at this moment, try to create this. Okay. So I did not touch anything. Just I provided the project name and I click on finish. See, once I click on finish, I got this window. Can you see here? Okay. Here I have some four partitions. Can you see? Left hand side one, right hand side one. In middle, I have two. Okay. This is the anatomy of design center. Can you see? We have four partitions. Left hand side, right hand side. In middle, we have two. Okay. So whatever you can see in your left hand uh, sorry, side. Sorry, Kishore. Yes. Miru daily use case you use chess con for example, maybe put API design yes to naru calculate run better. But uh and the any base chess coni example mm. what will you do with the calculator? Mm. You are going to perform addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, right? Oh uh, yeah. Uh, that we will do it now. Oh just I'm oh. explaining about this, okay. Okay. See, if I directly start with the you know uh, API, you are not able to understand right what is this. Yeah. So first yeah. I'm going to explain all these options, then we will build our API. Okay. Still, I did not start anything. Okay. So in the left hand side, whatever you can see, this area we can call it as file browser. Okay. Whatever this area you can see, this we can call it as editor. Mm -hmm. Why we can call it as editor? Because we are editing here. That's why we can call it as editor. Why we will call it as file browser? Here, we are going to create files folders. That's why we can call it as file browser. Okay. Then here, API console. Okay. Whatever you are typing, you can see it here. That's why we can call it as this API console. And this area, we can call it as chuck. In this chair, what will happen? We will get some intelligence. Intelligence means what you want to use in this particular position or in the next line that we can see with the chair. Okay. Now, can someone tell me what is this area? File browser. File browser. File browser. What is this? Editor. Editor. API console. API console. Chef. 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 Very good. So now, see, by default, we got these two things, right? RAML version and then title. How we got this? Because we selected RAML version 1.0 and we gave title as calculator API. That's why these two we got by default. Now let me click on enter. See, the moment I click on enter, you could see something here, right? In the down. Yeah. So if I keep it here. See, I am not able to see anything. Yeah. The moment I click on enter, I could see something in the chart. Yeah. So that means in this place, you can use all these things. Anyone you can use it in this place. Understood? Yes. So it is giving intelligence. Okay. By using that, we can construct very easily. We are not going to write any kind of code. Okay. Now, in RAML, we have three sections, root section, header section, and then body. I'll show you that. Can you see RAML is nothing but restful API modeling language, RAML structure. In RAML, we have three sections of the root section, header section, and then body. First one is what? Root, root section. section. So if you go here, can you see there is a root? 
that means first you can use this four here these are all all optional okay not mandatory if you want you can use it otherwise you can leave it that depends on your wish okay but what we will do we are going to use at least one or two here for today's class let me click on this version see the moment i click on version automatically it got created version here i am giving v1 now you can ask me hey already version is there right ramel version 1.2 why this v1 ramel is a language hmm that ramel is a language right? what is this what about this version is calculated Huh? Language version. Language version. Ramal is the language version. What is this V1? The API version. The one we are going to develop for uh, ah, it. It is the version. So this is the API version, guys. If you just place a cursor here, can you see version hmm. of the API? Okay. Okay. Oh. This version of the API, it could be anything. See, this will also it will allow. Why? Because I am the owner for this API. I can give any name, right? Okay, but for this language version, I am not the owner. I did not implement this, uh, you know, language, right? I do not have rights to change this. Let's say instead of this, if I keep it one point one, if I click on enter, see, I am not able to get any intelligence, and all colors got turned into black. Why? Because there is no such version, right? So that's why. always make sure you do not change the language version right yes. so try to use whatever you have that's it okay great next so this api version you can keep it anything okay whatever see if you give like this also it will consider nothing wrong in that but it should be some meaningful right so that's why mm -hmm. first we are uh, you know creating our api right so that's why i'm giving v1 version 1 this is the initial release okay now what i'll do i'm going to click on enter okay next in the root session i may use protocols protocols see what kind of protocols it is going to support http 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 and https Okay, can someone tell me what is the exact difference between HTTP and HTTPS? Secure HTTP is HTTPS is secure, secure line. Very good. HTTPS is nothing but it's a secure. Secure compared to HTTP. HTTP. Okay, this is the interview question. If I am the interviewer, okay, boss, you said HTTPS is secure. Okay, in terms of what? How it is going to secure? Next question. Proper validation. Hmm. Proper validation and certificate. Validation will happen in HTTP also. So you are saying HTTPS is more secure in yes. terms of what? How it is going to secure? It will encrypt the password compared to HTTP. Only password it will encrypt. In HTTP also, what we can do? We can do that. Encrypt and decrypt that uh, password son, in HTTP. Not only password, guys. Let's say all those things. You are sending some information, okay, from one place to other place. Let's say you are trying to log in to your bank account through net banking, right? So, what you will do? You are going to sit in your home and through your laptop, you are opening your ICIC or any some bank. You are going to provide your username and password, right or wrong? Right, sir. So the moment uh, if you submit your username and password, it should uh, reach the database, right or wrong? Whether this username is valid or not, it is going to check right internal checks and all. so while going to that destination hackers they are going to hack your username and password right or wrong yes so in that case what will happen you are going to lose your money next time so 
instead of that, all the banking applications they are using HTTPS. Can you see? Even can you see here? There is a lock symbol, right? Yes, sir. That means this site is more secure. Whatever information we are exchanging here, everything will be encrypted and decrypted format. That means user is not able to understand that. Okay. I'll show you one simple example so that you can understand. ICIC Bank. Okay. I'm going to log into my internet banking. Can you see? I'll click on login. Okay. Here it is asking user ID, right? Let me provide my user ID and password. See password I'm entering only two characters, even though it is invalid password. Let me give you one, two, right? Can you see two dots here? Yes. What I enter one, two. The moment I click on this login, what will happen? Instead of these two dots, you will get so many dots. More, more. You just yes. notice it. See? Did you guys notice? Yeah. Yes. So here what happened? The moment you click on login or submit, immediately it will be encrypted. Okay, encrypted means that ID password we cannot able to understand. Okay, so that's why all of our you know banking applications are more secure. Okay, hackers they are not able to hack your password. See, we got some encrypted message, right? Some hackers what they will do? They will take that encrypted message. And they are going to try to de decrypt that. Okay. That time there may be a chance, you know, to hack your account, right or wrong? Yes. But even though if they will decrypt that message, again, they need to select algorithm, which algorithm they used. Okay. So they will, uh, we will have so many algorithms so that, you know, they are not able to understand very easily. Okay. In meanwhile, what will happen? The transaction is going to end. Clear? Okay. So if someone will ask you, hey, what is the difference between HTTP and HTTPS? So HTTPS is more secure in terms of what? In terms of data. So if you are using HTTPS, your application will be encrypted and decrypted. Okay. Hackers, they are not able to hack your things. Okay. So this is also interview question, guys. Try to prepare answer for this as well. So today I gave two interview questions. RAML version 1.1, 1.8, HTTP and HTTPS. Yes. So this is clear, right? Okay. Sir, these are all questions we are providing. Ah, already I prepared all the interview questions, uh, you know. Okay, okay. I can share. But you guys also try to prepare now. Okay, right, sir. So why I'm saying this, because if you Google it something, let's say. They are providing many answers. Sir. We are confused. <laughs> uh, that's what I'm saying. You are going to learn so many things. HTTP versus. See, in one website, they will give some information. Let's say. So how you need to prepare answers like this, you have to open multiple websites. And you can read these articles. Okay. Try to make whatever the point you like it that you just make it somewhere. You just make a note. Okay. See the major difference between HTTP and HTTPS is the SSL certificate. Okay. Yes. In HTTP, we don't have certificate. In HTTPS, we do have certificate. Okay. Like this, try to prepare, you know, see so many. See, for HTTP port is 80, but HTTPS is 440. This is also one of the difference. Okay. HTTP transfer the data in the plain text. As I told you, right? Yes. If you are giving password 12, it will go 12. But uh, HTTPS transfer the data cipher text, encrypted text. Okay, you will get so many things. Understood? Okay. So this is the another difference. Like this, try to prepare the differences. Okay, I'll post the group. Clear?
okay now let me go back okay so now i want to construct a api okay so if you want to construct a house guys what you guys will do what and all required plan very good plan plan is nothing but design right here also we are doing same design okay yes okay we have plan we need to construct a house then what is the next step so we mentioned resource method request and a response very good that is okay but i'm asking general question oh. if i want to construct a house what and all required we get different vendors who support. Uh -huh. get different vendors. I didn't get you. To source different vendors who sup uh, supplies as the materials. Ah, that is okay. First, after uh, architect, uh, we'll get, we should get a approval. Ah, we have a design, okay, and mm -hmm. uh, that we already approved. What is the next step? Mm -hmm. Build the house. Hmm? Basement. Basement. basement basement okay basement if you want to do basement what are all the things required you should buy all the builder and the material buy materials. what materials materials very good what kind of materials we require uh, we need Breaks. cement and Breaks, mining cement, material. iron Break, iron cement yes so many things are required right yeah. Very good. If you want to construct a house, we need a brick, sand, iron. Okay. So similar way, if you want to construct any kind of API, we need five things, guys. If you remember these five things, you can construct any kind of application very easily, I can say. Okay. Let's say, let me open the document. Okay, can you see here? So you just remember all these files in a proper order so that what will happen the next eight to nine classes, it will be very easy for us, okay? Why? Because for every API, you know, we need to use all the five things. See, let's say if you want to construct thousand houses, for all the thousand houses, what is the raw material? Same, right? Iron, brick, sand, all the cement and all. Right or wrong? Right, sir. Here also same way. If you want to construct any kind of API, if you want to construct one ten thousand one lakh, we need to follow only these five steps. Okay? So that's why try to remember all these five in a proper order. So first one is resource path. Resource path is nothing but it is just like a name. That means you can provide any kind of name. Okay, resource path is nothing but just a name. Just remember, okay. Next to methods. We do have so many methods, get method, post, put, delete, patch. Okay, we will use any one of the method. So which method we need to use when we need to use, why we need to use, that we will discuss in coming classes. Okay. Next, request. Request means we need to provide some input. Let's say I want to, I'm building, I'm constructing calculator API, right? What is my request? I want to perform some addition. Addition. So I'm giving request as two plus two, two numbers I'm passing. Response, what you will get? Output. Request is input, response is output. And a HTTP status code. If it is success, what kind of message you will get? If it is fail, what kind of message we will get? Okay. So you guys remember all this file? Yes. Okay. Now I'm going to here. Now tell me guys, what is the first one? Resource path. Second one? Method. Method. Third one? Request. 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 Fourth one. Response. Response. Fifth one. HTTP status codes. Very good. HTTP status codes. Great. 
So now we'll write one by one. What is the first one? Resource path. So resource path, always we need to write the starting of the line. Okay. Just provide like a slash. Always it will start with the resource path. Start with the slash. Yeah. And you can provide any name. Hero. So hero is also one of the name, right? Yes. So it is taking. Can you see it is not giving any error? But. Sir, but here we are taking calculator, right? Sir. Ah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. Here we are building calculator AP. In calculator, hero, heroine will be there? No. No, right. Who will be there? Addition will be there. Subtraction will be there. Multiplication. Right? Yes, yes. So we need to provide a meaningful name here. Addition. So the moment if someone will see this guy is going to construct a calculator API and he is going to perform some addition operation. Now this is meaningful, right? Yes. So I just provided my username. Just click on. So let me click on this. Chap. Now hit enter. Don't write anything by your own. Just hit enter. So the moment you click on enter, what is the next step? Method. Method. See, the moment you click on enter, all the methods got displayed. System will understand what we required. It will provide to us. Chef, always it will give the intelligence to us. Okay. So, so many methods are there. Which method we need to use it? That we will discuss okay. in coming classes. But right now, you can select any one method. Let me yeah. go with the yeah. get method. Next. What is the next step? Bot request. Request, right? Yes, sir. So, request we can send in four ways. One is query parameter, headers, body, and URI parameter. All four ways we can send a request. Okay. So if you are sending a request, you can use any one of the way out of this four ways. Okay. So daily we are going to use one one way. Okay. So that uh, next four classes we are going to cover all the four ways. Okay. So today I will go with the query parameter. So request I am passing in the form of query parameter. What do you mean by query parameter? This is the interview question again. Question mark means structure. So query parameter is nothing but question mark. Perfect. So what this query parameter will do? It will search. Not search. It is going it to filter. Uh, it is going to filter or sort the resources. Let's say. I want to see the movies list. So the moment I click on movies, I'm getting all the movies here, right? Can you see all the movies here? Yes. But always what we will do, we are going to provide the input here and we can see the response here, right? Did you guys notice uh, this? area by any chance no right can you see yeah. there is a question mark here search. search this question mark is nothing but query parameter what this query parameter will do it is going to filter or sort the resources in google we have so many things right in google we can google it movies cricket gmail facebook what not Whatever you want, you will get it. But only movies, how I am getting in Google. Because I am giving request in the form of query parameter saying that, hey, I want movies from the Google. Okay, what it will do? It is going to filter the query parameter to equal to movies. So that's why I'm getting this movie. Now, can you see here, instead of this movie, is what I'll do, I'm going to write cricket here. I'm not writing here, I'm changing, you know, request I'm directly giving in the query parameter. Okay. If I hit enter here, automatically your UI will be changed. This entire UI will be changed to cricket. See? 
I did not change here. I change here. Understood or not? Yeah. So I'm repeating yeah. in Telugu, guys. Same sentence. So, if you choose a query parameter, and then, if you type this, then you get the output. Just a month ago, so if you query parameter, lo, it ends just a month. Q equal to cricket and pass says the. If you Google lo pelli filter just a month. Sort just a month. Now, kaval chine information matra me just a month. Adi query parameter. Okay. Now, okay, I'll come here. So here. I want to construct a calculator API, right? Yes. Let me write calculator. So I want to perform addition of two numbers, two plus six. What is this two and six? Yes. These two are numbers, right? Yes. So now what I'll do? I'm going to write some numbers. So here I am writing number one. So this number one is required or not? Required, sir. Okay. Without this number one, we cannot perform addition, right? Yes. So here, what you can do? Number one, hit enter. Just type R. Automatically, required will come. Hit enter. Required. True. True. True means we need. Yes. False means we don't want. Okay. What is the type of this number? Type integer. is number only, right? Number. Yes, sir. Or integer, you can write anything. So next number two. Where I need to write number two? Under the number one. Exactly under the number one. I should not write outside. Why? Because can you see? Hmm. In the calculator, if I am writing two here, if I open another tab. Calculator. If I write six, okay, will it perform addition? If I click on equal, no, right? Yes. Both should be in same place, right or wrong? Here also, wherever you are passing number one, exactly under same line, you need to pass number two. Two. This we can call it as indentation. Next. Required. You call it as indentation. 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 Yes. If you are not writing indentation, if you are not following indentation properly, we may get error. Okay. Okay. Now this is clear, right? Sir, can you repeat again? Indentation. What is indentation? Indentation means proper order, which we need to follow. Okay. Okay. I'll show you again. See now. Resource path is done, method is done, request is done, right? What is the next step? Response. 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 Okay, I'll show you now what is indentation. See, if I click on enter, what I am getting? Did I get any response here? No. No. Why? It's not under exactly the. No, I mean wrong enter. place. So what I'll do? I'll go here. Here nothing is there. Nothing is there. Under the query parameter. See under query parameter, I could see some response. Right? Yes. Why I am getting response in this line? Because yes. I created request here. In the same line, we will get response. Right? Yes. Let's say two plus six. If I am giving request, will I get response here? No. Right? Here only we will get eight. So here also wherever we are passing request in the same line, we have to write the response. Okay, two hundred is for success. So this is the common syntax, guys. Body, application JSON. JSON. Yes, Example. Example. So up to here common. So here you can write message. Addition is some value eight. Okay. So, so response is kind of identity at large. Oh, this is syntax and Pratidhan ki common. This is common for all the APIs. You just try to remember once. 
ரைட் ஓகேங்க Can you see? Yeah, bad request. Four hundred bad request. Let mm-hmm. me create this as well. Let me write it. So where I need to write that four hundred? Under two hundred. Very good. Exactly under two hundred. See here we can see all this. Let me select four hundred. Next, I told you right. This is the syntax which we need to follow. Body. application json example messages bad request okay that's it this is done now what i'll do i'm going to test my api so all things completed right resource path is done method is done request is done response is done and then status code is done right so my api got completed now i want to test this api if i want to test my api click on this get method click on try it can you see some required fields will be there right can you see there is a hash tick that means these are the required field we told right number 1 and number 2 are mandatory so i am not going to keep anything number 1 number 2 guys go on mute click on send the moment i click on send somebody making noise okay see you got 400 why you are getting bad request you are not given the numbers ah uh, i did not you know mm. provide any so these are the mandatory fields i did not uh, provide it so that's why it is giving error so let me give 3 plus 3 3 plus 3 how much 6 6 will i get 6 here uh, no no addition message what you are giving that message body can you see what i received addition is 8 why i did not get 6 because i am performing addition right see this is dummy yeah. guys whatever we are doing in the design center everything will be dummy this is blueprint of our api blueprint means if you are Plan. giving this we will expect this like this just assumption right so if i want to perform addition i need two numbers here i am giving two numbers okay two numbers i give then i need to get one response i am getting the response fine that's it also is yeah okay so if so i did remove... I implement any business logic so, sorry if i remove 400 uh, what will is what is output sir in the code if you remove 400 yeah even if you remove this also you will get they have not given any input okay even if you did not mention this also you will get 400 okay i did not mention right yes system will understand it will pick it from there by default all the status codes are incorporated see now we don't have 400 right still if i click on send i'll get 400 okay. see it is a um, by default sir 
हाँ बाय डिफॉल्ट इट विल बी देयर ओके सिस्टम विल अंडरस्टैंड एंड विल थ्रो देयर अंडरस्टूड नाउ दिस इज क्लियर राइट एनी क्वेश्चन इन द रेस्पॉन्स एटलीस्ट वी शुड कीप वन रेस्पॉन्स मैंडेटरी ah uh, that is mandatory right if it is success we need to give something right yeah so instead of 200 uh, can we keep another thing like any another at least no 200. for success always we need to keep 200 okay like instead of success can we keep another 400 at least one thing na so that uh, can we keep one thing 400 no, that idea i already created right last time yeah other than 400 like they can remove 200 now can we remove 200 no you should not yeah under response always you have to keep this 200 okay yes otherwise we may get a uh, to is just a blueprint uh, is just a blueprint of the calculator ah. api Correct. to work it out so like when you give a addition so you get like 2 plus 2 yeah. is equal to 4 so this to is dummy guys what i am saying yeah. is i want to construct a house okay my house mm. will be look like this something okay so imagine uh, let me take this one okay so i told to the designer saying that hey i need a house like this here i need some garden some parking okay exactly it may not come but it will come maybe colors will change or something will change tiles will change right gardening will change ah uh, garden will change maybe so will not get right so this is the model which we will get it that's it okay here also what will happen if you are sending some request you are getting some response that's it okay but we did not do any validation here if you are giving this exactly we need to get this right so that we will do it in the <coughs> development phase sir uh, one one question sir now we are correct the indentation na indentation na 400 yes. uh like uh, we are selecting and uh, direct backspace na any key key ah that i'll tell you in coming classes okay 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 see so if you want to move complete thing hmm. left or right just use the tab okay. select it if you are using tab it will go right side okay see now indentation got changed that's why yes, we are yes, putting error hmm. okay hmm. if you want to come towards the left side shift to tab okay right sir tab right side left side yeah. shift tab shift okay. tab okay okay sir i'll tell you in the coming class this is Go. your first session right yeah yeah so what you can do try to create account with this platform whatever i explain same you can practice it by seeing that mm. video mm. tomorrow what we will do this api we will take to the studio okay and then we will implement the business logic that time you will get the exact values okay okay, okay. so okay. we develop over there ah there we are going to implement our business logic let's okay. say if you pass 5 plus 10 you will get 15 if you pass 10 plus 10 you will get 20 ah oh. that implementation we will do it in the development that we will discuss in the next session okay okay okay, oh, okay. so that's why i told you try to attend uh, three free classes so that you will come to know exactly okay, okay? Okay. Okay. So, did I write any single line of code? No, right? No, no. Everything I am going to select from the chart. At least here I am selecting, but in the development it will be very easy. Okay. I'll show you in the next class. Okay. Sir, one doubt, sir. Two hundred compulsory, right, sir? Compulsory. Yes, yes. This is the standard, guys. Okay. This up to here you have to write it. This is the standard syntax for each and every API. Okay. Okay. So, if you want to see application slash XML and fetch that, can you come message me XML format lo rasna access? Ah, if you are writing XML here, this format should change. Okay. See, ninety so percent we are going to use JSON only. Why? Because we are creating RESTful APIs. Okay. RESTful APIs JSON will support, not XML. I will explain that also in one class. Okay. okay. Clear. Yes, sir. 
okay guys we'll meet tomorrow same time same link okay okay, okay sir thank you thank you sir thank you thank you so today try to create account okay okay yeah okay, okay, okay. thanks all thank you get this recording yeah yeah i will get the recording okay okay sir can you okay. can you post that uh, cat website in the chat just type http.cat okay i'll share all the links okay don't worry yeah. okay okay